Hello, Vogue Beauty Secrets. Hey guys, buenos dias. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hey guys, I'm Olivia Rodrigo. I'm Vanessa Hudgens. It's Lori Harvey. I'm Iman. I'm Ursula Corvero. I'm Kaya Gerber, and today I'm gonna walk you through my everyday skincare routine and makeup look. My skincare routine and a going out look. And I'm gonna show you what I do for an evening look. So, let's get started. First thing that I do when I wake up is I immediately wash my face. I like to use my hands for basically my entire beauty routine. So growing up, I had acne. I had a lot of acne on my forehead and on my cheeks. I still break out, you know, like it happens. I used to have forehead acne all the time and really horrible cystic deep acne in my cheeks and I was really insecure about it. It was bad, so I'm really glad that I found something that works for me. The great thing about the menopause is that you don't have breakouts anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, besides not having your periods, which is wonderful. They truly believe in like really being gentle on your skin. You don't pull, you don't tug, and you don't rub. So I'm just always patting and patting and patting. I learned that somewhere, probably in one of these beauty secret videos. The skin you take care of in your 20s is the one you're going to inherit in your 60s and 70s. You're going to see quite a few masks. And the reason why I like them is just because I feel like they're very hydrating. I can put them on, I don't have to think about it. If you put them in the fridge, they feel much better. I have this really cool item that I actually found when I was in Japan. Perfect lifting premium V mask. It looks like this. <laughs> so you just put it under like this and then you wrap it around your ears. I kind of figure out like those bands you use when you're working out. This is also like that. Yeah, it's quite fetching. I found that this has really helped with the inflammation that I get and it kind of helps reduce it much faster. This mix is for breakouts and collagen. I've noticed a difference ever since I started using it. Recently, I've enjoyed face rolling, especially early in the morning, and especially like ice rollers. And then I will roll out on my cheekbones and it feels so nice and so cold. This um, sculpting gold bar thingy and you turn it on, it vibrates. Don't get any ideas. I love taking time to do this because it's just like throughout the day we are pulled in so many different directions, everyone. And it's so important to really take care of yourself and like be your own best friend, which Madison Beer once said. I feel like when I roll it, it might make it feel better. Maybe it's making it worse, but this some, does something to my brain that makes me think it feels better. Lymphatic drainage is really, really important. You've got to move those toxins out of your body. It will show on your skin. It will show on the way you feel. Dry body brush. Start at my palm, you can see like this. I'll go up, 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 and everything goes towards the heart. And then I'll use the body washer the same way as I use the lymphatic uh, drainage brush. I used to think that face rolling was such a joke. I was like, God's probably looking down at his creation. He's like, why are people rubbing things on their face? But now look at me, so I really do notice a difference. Self-care is just doing things that make you feel good and love yourself. It just feels so nice to do something nice for yourself and sometimes this is exactly what we need. I'll thank my body and my heart for working so hard and overtime every single day and um, I think skincare is a big part of that. Next, I apply my serum. Since we're just getting ready for the day, I don't want to be too oily so I just do. Not too much. You just put a couple drops on. I read somewhere that you're supposed to do upwards strokes, which is actually really kind of unnatural to me because I just want to like do this. It's sexy to take care of yourself, isn't it? We're going to use some SPF because it's important to take care of our skin. And I love this sun butter. I really take SPF. Serious girl. I certainly wish that I had worn SPF a lot more when I was younger. I did, I didn't do a bad job of it. But as you're older and turning 41 and you're looking at the brown spots on your skin, you're like, dang, I should have worn a hat my whole life. I love to always start with this Fenty Beauty Spray. Okay. 
Mmm, it smells so good. One of the most important things, like I, I can't go a, like a day without listening to some of my favorite music. So we're gonna have a dance break really quick. Let's start with the funniest part, which is the makeup. Makeup for me has always been really fun. I've never taken it too serious. I'm going to move on to my foundation. I have two different foundations right now. I'm just gonna mix them together and pray for the best. La verdad es que a mí me gusta mucho hacerme el makeup con con los dedos. Como cuando uno hace cerámica. Imagínate hacer cerámica y estar haciendo cerámica um, sin utilizar tus manos, sintiendo el material. No es lo mismo. Entonces, para mí, esto es, lo, esto es igual. El concealer de toda la vida. Para dar un poco de luz. Yo normalmente me pongo aquí, me hago una rayita aquí, me pongo aquí y aquí para levantar un poco el ojo. Next, I'm going to do some brows. Eyebrows gotta stay on fleek. My mom always told me never ever pluck your eyebrows. Of course, I didn't listen to her. So it's taken a while for me to grow these back. I've never had like an over plucked brow mishap. I have had mishaps though, like during fashion week where my brows have to be bleached for one show and dyed back to my natural brow for the next show. If you do that too quickly, your brows don't take the color. So then I go to the next show with like orange brows. It's kind of a laugh. To me, the most beautiful thing is natural beauty. So using makeup to really amplify that, but not cover up what makes you you is to me the most beautiful. I take my finger and I just like shape it and then I grab my finger and just like push it up. Next, I like to do some contouring. I just take this darker shade and rub my finger in here. And see that and then I'll do a bit in my temple as well so I go like this put some here it just does a little bit slims the face a little you can see it I know you can because I can see it I'm gonna do one line here and one line here I learned this nose contour trick on TikTok and I really like it. My face just... We're gonna move on to bronzer now. Start here. Do you know when I created Iman Cosmetics, there were no bronzers for women with skin of color. So they said, why, do you, why does a black girl need a bronzer? I said, every girl needs a bronzer because it just warms the skin. People always ask me, if there was one makeup product you could only use for the rest of your life, it would 100% be this. I don't care if I had pimples and no concealer, I would use blush no matter what. And I know it looks like a lot, just please bear with me. I used to never wear blush when I was younger. I was like, blush, why would I want to make my face red? I'm like trying to take the redness out of my face. Um, and now it's my favorite thing. I wear so much blush, like sometimes I like need to tone it down. I just think it makes you look like so awake and happy or something. I like taking a little bit and just brushing it over the top of my nose because then it looks like natural kind of sun-kissed. The next step is my highlighter, my cream highlighter, which is the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter wand. And I just do like two little dots right there. And I love highlighter. I feel like it just makes me feel like I'm a forest nymph and a fairy and like, who does not feel like a fairy? I put it on my finger and then I put it on the tip of my nose. And then you put it on your chin too to make it look shiny, cute. Now you guys know how to do it. Entonces, que más? Pues después de eso, normalmente voy directamente a hacerme ya el ojo. Purple is the color of royalty, if you did not know. So now we're gonna do um, a little bit of eyeliner. We're about to embark on a journey together. Mm. 
Now it is time for lashes. I have been using the same eyelashes on my eyes forever. So I'm gonna use these lashes with um, just this black glue. Actually, the craziest place I've done lashes is in a moving car. And I've done that more than once. Now we're going to use the Lash Lash eyelashes. So now we're gonna do our blending. I have two different uh, mascaras. Let's do the lips. I'm gonna use this lip pencil from MAC. So pretty, <laughs> so fun. This is my assistant makeup artist. She's sleeping on the job. You wanna say hi to my cat? What's up? Okay, you're gonna go back outside. So now let's go into hair. We're gonna use a little coconut oil and I like to put it in my hair. Us black girls should keep our hair hydrated. When you put texture in it, you can do some crazy stuff and fun stuff with your hair. <laughs> I wish that I could tell my 16 self-conscious self that it's just a journey and just love yourself more than what your skin tells you and honestly happiness shines through anything and people can see what's inside. I really believe that as women we should feel free to do whatever we want as we age in order to feel our best. I think just accentuating your natural features is always the move and always when I feel the most confident. I think it's important to find what makes you you and what makes you shine and sparkle. Be confident, never give up a be yourself, no matter who you are, let's be yourself and be perfect. I just want to remind those of you watching that this is not how I look every day. Um, sometimes I go a week without touching makeup or, you know, just putting on deodorant is like, we're doing great. You're doing amazing and to just give yourself grace and uh, if you brushed your hair this week, I'm really proud of you. All right, guys. That is my look for the night. This was a pleasure. Thank you for coming into my bathroom. And I hope you get a couple of your own little hints and tricks and tips that come up with you. I'm ready to face my day. I sometimes do my makeup in my mirror at home and pretend that I'm doing one of these. So I actually got to do it for real today. I will see you guys for the next Beauty Secrets. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Lots of love. Bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Hi.